Have you heard about the sequel to Who Killed Fairfax? It's called Who Killed Channel 10 and it features the same leading players. Yes, while Packer and Murdoch Juniors are being unfairly credited with having killed off Fairfax, as though it's a good thing, it could be argued their real crime is killing off our third commercial television network, or about to. Yes, the two men with the very mixed business careers, remember One Tell Anywhere, are more known for destroying their own media investments and other people's money, not just daddy's. In fact, the newspaper which employs the author of Who Killed Fairfax, the Australian Financial Review, even did a proper job of reporting this last year with the excellently titled piece called How to Blow Up a Television Network, in which Lachlan and James did not fare well. That one was written by James Chessel. Anyway, as I've said repeatedly, why on earth Fairfax journalists would be standing around watching Mr Packer boast about his hate, hate, hatred of them for doing the job is beyond me as they watch their mates jobs disappear and their own look very shaky. Can you imagine a group of journos from the Australian standing around in awe over Clive Palmer if he boasted of killing off their paper when it was say depleted for other commercial reasons? Or Gina Reinhart getting a roll up to her book on how I forced Fairfax to commit Hari Kari by simply buying shares? All credit to the editorial writers at the Sydney Morning Herald for their great piece stating the bleeding obvious at the weekend and rerun today, page two, have a look at it. It says, despite the reason hype, we're not actually dead yet. Or to put it another way, if you're reading this, we must still be alive.